Minecraft in VR, never thought I'd see the day. How's it going guys? This is King Alfie and today we're testing out our Oculus Quest 2 with Minecraft VR. We've got Vivecraft installed, that's the plugin that you need to be able to run it with the Oculus 2 because it is not natively compatible. So we're just gonna test out a few things. We're gonna create a new world. Um, we're gonna leave cheats off because I don't even know how I would use cheats on <laughs> VR. So yeah, we're just gonna create a new world and go in blind. I have tried out the controls a little bit, but I don't really know what I'm doing. So this is gonna be all fun and games, and we're gonna see how it goes. All right, here we are in the world. So we can just move around using the joysticks. Oh, this is disorienting. <laughs> uh, don't fall, we're fine. Okay, and I apologize if there's a little bit of a tilt to the video, but um, yeah, I can't see my screen, so I don't know what it looks like for you guys. Um, okay, there's a cow here. Let's try and punch him. Yeah. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> so I can either use the trigger to punch things, or I can actually move my hand like this. So if I go up to a flower, I have to get really close if I want to do it like this. Eh. Or, yeah, I'm just going to use the trigger for the most part. Unless I'm like really close to something. Let's go up to the tree here. Okay, if I click the joystick, then I jump. That's cool. Let's see. So I can use the trigger to chop down a tree like this, or I can just keep smacking it like this. This takes a lot longer though, that's for sure. Because yeah, that's how long it takes to destroy it while hitting. And this is how long it takes with using the trigger. So for the most part, we're gonna use the trigger and I'm going to be a terrible Minecrafter and leave this floating tree. All right, so we've got our inventory on our arm here. How do I access this? Oh, okay, so that button brings up kind of like a quick control thing. Drop selected item. Oh, yep, there goes our flower. We want that back, okay. Um, okay, inventory, inventory. Nope, that's settings. Ah, there we go, that's inventory. So that was the X button, okay. So let's make a bunch of planks and a crafting table like we normally would in Minecraft. Cool. Um, I see my exit the same way. Cool. Okay. And then not the bumpers or yeah, the bumpers, not the triggers are how I move in the inventory. Cool. Uh, let's throw a crafting table down here. Not entirely sure how to do that. Oh, Okay, there's a teleporting system too, so I can teleport to the- Okay, well, this is how you get kicked from servers. <laughs> Alright, I really need to figure out how to place this. Oh, okay, it's A. A is how you place. Now, how do I interact with? Nope, that's break. Oh, there we go. It's A as well. Oh, wow. Why is it way up there? Okay, um... Okay, I can use A to place a single thing in the crafting table. Okay, well, we're just gonna use a bunch of inventory space like that. Let's get ourselves a pickaxe and get some stone tools. So this is the only circumstance I'll ever say this, but auto jump is actually useful with VR because then you don't have to, uh, you know, click the button every time. Okay, yep, that's lava. We're not gonna die right away. Punch the chicken, punch the chicken. I missed the chicken. Okay, let's punch this chicken. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is hard, man. All right, screw it, the chickens can live. We're going for stone. Uh, okay, how do I surface? Okay, I click the button to jump to surface. Okay, good, we're not gonna drown. That's good news. Okay, cool. Now it's time to mine some stone. I kinda wanna do it the VR way for at least one block, just cause I'm playing in VR, so I may as well. You know what? do it for this one too. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. This takes forever. Oh. This is going to take some time to get used to. All right, mining with a stone pickaxe VR way. Takes a little bit of time. And non-VR way. I I think that's a little more efficient. We're just going to grab a bunch of stone that way we can, you know, cook up some food. Uh-oh. Uh I switched somehow. Okay, we're fine. This is kind of cool not having to move. I can just move my arm around and mine different blocks, even if they're slightly out of my field of view. 
I feel like I'm checking my watch every time I look at my inventory. All right. New crafting table. Oh, that's not the place button. That is. Okay, cool. Interact, and let's make ourselves a bunch of tools. Ah, oh, that's not how you make a stick. What? There we go. Crisis averted. Might as well make ourselves a furnace, too. That way we can cook up some of these animals around. Okay, exit crafting table. We're good. Oh, we've got tooltips, too. Ah, that's kind of cool. Still have to check the watch. Oh, and the chat bar's on my arm, too. Okay. All right, time to kill an animal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> come back here. You're not dead yet. There we go. You know, playing in VR really puts into perspective how big blocks actually are because blocks in Minecraft are supposed to be one meter by one meter. And standing next to the blocks like this, well, it just shows how short I really am compared to the blocks. All right, come here, sheep. You're going to die too. I need a bed. Yes, got him. Before I get him, I feel the view. Yeah. Nope, come back. There we go. <laughs> oh, fall damage. Okay, that took a second. Um, you probably want to find a safe place. Oh my god, this looks cool. Alright, some torches probably won't hurt. Nope, I want to place them all there, not just one. Alright, uh, how do I place again? Like that. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Nope, well, I just teleported onto the crafting table. I wanted to open it. There we go. All right, I'm curious to see what sleeping in a bed will be like. Okay, we need that. Let's just place it in a random spot, like here. Okay, how do I interact with it? A, oh, okay. Well, everything just went dark for a second. Can't tell if that's a good thing. Okay, so sleeping is weird. Okay, got it. Now there's something I really wanna try out and I'm probably gonna die when I do this, but I want to log on to Enigma, and I want to try my Elytra out. Oh, this is probably a super dumb idea, but we're doing it anyways. Oh, it's cool to see my place in VR, though. Okay. Three, two, one, jump. Use rocket. Okay. Well. Bleh. Okay. I was able to actually float, just not use my rockets. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, let's use another rocket. Oh, this is super weird. Okay. Uh, okay, we're gonna fly into something. Hi, Derp. Let's go see him. Oh, no. Uh. Okay, thank God for feather falling. <laughs> oh, man. That could have been bad. Okay, golden carrot. Eat. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, apparently it's A to eat as well. Okay, we gotta try and take flight again. Uh, this is gonna be the death of me and the loss of all of my stuff on Enigma. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, jump! Oh. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can get back to our place. <laughs> so, for anyone who is curious... Oh, nope. Leaves. Uh, okay, we're gonna try that again. Like I was saying, for anyone who's curious, I'm using the Oculus Quest 2. And like I said, VR Minecraft is not actually compatible with the Quest 2. So what I had to do was I had to do a mixture of Steam VR, Vivecraft, which is a out plugin that you can get for uh, Minecraft. It works in a similar way to the Fabric Launcher. And then I was able to launch in VR using the Oculus Link cable. So that's how I'm playing in VR, just on Java Minecraft. You can do it with Bedrock as well, it's just not as easy apparently. Okay, let's see if we can land without taking any damage. Oh, this is super weird, but I kind of like it. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good! We landed, Oh yeah! Oh, another thing I really want to try is my bow. Okay, let's get this out. Okay, I've got an arrow in one hand. Oh, okay, got it knocked. Nope, that's how you switch weapons, okay. Okay, trigger to draw and then release to fire. Got it. This is gonna take some getting used to. You guys can probably hear the vibration of the controller as well. Okay, that's kind of cool. 
And in case anyone's wondering if the audio is a little off compared to what it normally is, I'm using the mic on the Oculus Quest 2 rather than my boom arm because I tried it with my regular mic and I kept punching it and I didn't think that was any good for a video. So hopefully the audio will turn out and um, yeah, I don't have to re-record this entire thing because <laughs> the audio is just complete garbage. Okay, uh, A to open a door, perfect. I assume it's A to open a chest as well. All of my item frames are rotated again. Ah! Okay, let's open the sand chest. Oh, yep, there we go, cool. Man, everything is so freaking large compared to the player model. You don't realize it when you're playing just regular Minecraft, but I'm standing beside this and I feel tiny. Oh man, my player model looks really weird on here. It looks like my arm's broken into three pieces. Okay, the other thing I wanted to try out was chat. So I assume I just click over that. Okay, click to open keyboard. Oh, and I've got a full keyboard in front of me too. Okay. Oh, and I just like poke it to get different letters. Okay. Let's, uh, let's type out a message. Hello. Cool. And then just enter to send, I guess. Hey, that's awesome. Uh oh, uh, chat's stuck on my screen. I don't know how to get rid of it. Um, uh, ah, there we go. We're fine. Why am I turned around? <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Okay, now back to this world. The thing everyone wants to know, can I kill a mob in VR or is it going to absolutely destroy me? Let's see if we can find one. Okay, this was pathetic. Let me find another one. Oh, well, here's a creeper. We're about to find out. Yeah. Okay, back up, back up. Okay, I didn't die. That's what we need to take from this. Uh, let's see if we can find a zombie or something in a cave. Die, cow! <laughs> Ooh, village. Yeah. Uh-oh. Um. <laughs> do we dare to do it? I'm tempting fate here. <laughs> Oh, yep, he's after me. It's time to leave. <laughs> yep, he's not happy. We're just gonna go find a cave and die in there instead. Out of the way, horse. Oh man, he's still after me. Ooh, food, ow. Food hurts. Iron Golem's not still after me, is he? No, okay. All right, let's place this down and get some food cooking. All right, steak. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. And I think there's a cave right behind me too. All right, let's get our sword out. And let's see what adventures this cave holds. Absolutely none. Awesome, glad I came here. All right, either that's a lighting glitch or I found a cave. I think I found a cave. All right, it's time to go in. Oh, why does it have to be a baby zombie? Anything but a baby zombie. Ah, just keep swinging. Wait a minute, where is he? I don't know where he went. <laughs> he just hit. Oh, he's stuck inside a block. <laughs> Suffocate. Yeah, that's right. I didn't want to take you, anyways. Uh oh. Uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and die then. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yes. Got him. Got my first mob kill. Uh oh. Now I'm gonna get killed by a mob. Uh, okay, this is harder than it looks. Yep. Okay, well. First death and first kill. Awesome. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of goofing around in VR Minecraft. I had a ton of fun, and there's a bunch more stuff I want to try out too, so you can expect more VR videos in the future. And if you have any ideas for what I can do both inside and outside of Minecraft with VR, drop them in the comment section down below because I'd be more than happy to make more VR content, whether it be in Minecraft or on a different game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.